Shalom. Giving all praise to our Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. By Shem Wakar Gadash. The bonds of the apostles and the elders of the will and peace and many salutations to Yahweh on this tolling and his truth. I've been watching uh, several brothers sit down on this particular video in, when, in which vocab alone states that. The God that we serve, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, is an idol that we made up. And there's so many avenues in which you can attack his hypocrisy. Um, you know, just dealing with the Christian church. Uh, historically, historically speaking, historically speaking, you had the... Um, the uh, genocide of our native brothers, the so-called native brothers, the Gadites, under the banner of Christianity. You had uh, apart apartheid instated under the concept, or well, utilizing the concept of spiritual Israelites in South Africa. Okay, which uh, subjugated the indigenous people of that land. Um, and put the, the, the Europeans as, you know, the, the so-called uh, chosen ones in that land or, or the uh, oppressors in that land, spiritual, uh, spiritual oppressors in that land, <laughs> you know, um, now, contemporarily speaking, you see the Christian church um, condoning abominations. And, you know, guys like Vocab Malone has nothing to, nothing to say about it. Now, we know that Vocab Malone, Vocab Malone is on, a, on the uh, on a clock. So, you know, his, his sole purpose is to definitely... Uh, it's to defame us, you know, um, which is fine, which is fine. Uh, while he's doing that, you know, we're too busy prophesying to go back and forth, back and forth with about the atrocities that, you know, Christianity has done throughout the centuries. And even even now, you know, um, the oldest uh, Christian organization in the Catholic Church um, is the longest known uh, petty, the in my drift, uh, ring organization. It's known, right? Yeah, we don't have the truth. Yet yeah, people who claim to, to believe in the Bible, who claim to be uh, Christians, they're doing all types of atrocities. Yeah, Vocab Malone has nothing to say about it. Okay? That's something that's normalized. That's something that's okay. But we say in the ancient world, you know, uh, young ladies as young as 14 was married. They were just the worst things on planet Earth. Yeah, your, your organizations have condoned rape, robbery, murder. For centuries, I might add, centuries. Okay, so let's play this, and I'm going to get a clip of the. I'm going to get a clip of uh, contemporary, you know, contradictions of the uh, the Christian Church. Okay, that shows their God. And I let's get to it just established he's not there's no god at all it's an idol product of their own imagination or desires sure the god whom nathaniel of iuic talks about is not real the god whom ben ami wrote about will never be the god whom tahar of gms makes videos about has never existed the god whom kulan mitchell himself he believed he was god he called himself yahweh and yahweh of the nation of yahweh lectured about is not a god at all but rather an idol the god whom edward meredith bibbins the founder of one westism taught about on the streets is a god of and then, you know he's reading all this stuff i just want to interject okay so our god that we don't 
that 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 we believe in is false. But his God, um, that he believes in, you know, that the Edom Edomites came over with, that destroyed the natives, that put, uh, that was used as a tool to put, essentially, the world under colonization. That that God exists, but our God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you know, doesn't exist. The God that has woken us up, who we are, that has told us to put down the ways of the world, in particular the ways of so-called black culture and Latino culture and Native American culture and come back to the Heavenly Father, that God doesn't exist. Okay. So, you know, he's a spokesman for Christianity. I wonder if this particular God exists that's condoning this madness that you're about to see. Now, behold, now this is the first Lutheran church elected uh, non-binary pastor, a uh, bishop, okay? All right. This is a leader of a church, one of the oldest known churches, okay? And this cat is a, is a you know, cross-stretcher, okay? Take this up. I'm the Reverend Dr. Megan Rohr, and I am the Bishop of the Sierra Pacific Synod. Megan Rohr oversees nearly 200 evangelical Lutheran congregations from Central California and Nevada up to Oregon. What's going on here in the book of Isaiah? The bishop is making history. It made the history books because I'm the first openly transgender bishop in the Lutheran church and maybe in all of the mainline churches across the world. Megan says becoming bishop as a transgender person was not something they anticipated so soon. It was a shock. It was just a very unexpected thing for me when I was elected, but a very gratifying process to have so many people believe in my leadership skills and be be ready for this. Megan's pronouns are they and them instead of he or she because... The ideas and the expectations about what it means to be male or what it means to be female are not fully something that I identify with. Megan says... So this, 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 this person doesn't identify as male or female because the social construct she doesn't agree with. So she decided to chop her uh, breasts off and, you know, dismember her, uh, her sexual organ and give herself uh, certain shots, testosterone shots to boost her testosterone. Okay. And that's of God. That's cool. That's okay. That is okay. And you know, if you look, if you look this up, this is not the only person that has done this, man. Uh, it's not the only person who has done this. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could go to my search engine just to show you guys, but this is okay in in in, in, the, in the so-called Christian church. You know, this is this is cool, but us saying that we are uh, of the chosen, that's that's too much. That's too much. This see, this is the uh, this is the um, hypocrisy, the soul hypocrisy of Esau Edom. Okay. Now this is Psalms ten and two. The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that that they have imagined. And this is precisely what. Vocab alone is doing. Vocab alone is uh, trying to find a way to persecute us. He's documenting all of his uh, his encounters with us. So when that time comes for us to be um, violated, you know, he'll be able to testify against us. The the other. Yes, woman goes into to this very often, and this is what we this is what we're going to see. Um, but it's not gonna it's not gonna work, you know. He's gonna be taken in his devices, and his snares that he has a 
um, erected for us. Okay, back to it. It says uh, Psalms ten and two: The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasts of his heart's desire, and blesses the covetous, whom Yahweh abhorreth. Exactly what you see going on now. Who is blessed right now? Who who is Esau? Well, who is Vocab Malone um, saying has the truth? Who are certainly like not us and people that look like us, right? Right, but it's the people who uh, created, you know, the the the, the Christian uh, church, you know, which we know to be who the majority of them were uh, uh, Idumians that have that condoned wicked things of of this against the so-called Negro Latino Native American true the true Israelites okay let's not negate the fact that Christianity was a tool for white supremacy during the time of slavery during the time of uh, colonization we cannot forget that and that's something that vocab alone briefly speaks about and it's like oh you know greedy people it happens but overall, they had it right. You niggas are wrong. That's the sentiment that he has. In a nutshell, okay? Did he say those names, those, those words verbatim? No. But that's what he believes. Okay? Those people, those Christians that don't con that were a part of colonization, a part of slavery, a part of the uh, the destruction of the the northern tribe or the of the uh the, uh, the, the Native Americans. Vocab Malone doesn't have a problem with that. In fact, uh, bringing that up is an emotional argument in his eyes. Basically, he has a sentiment of, look, you got conquered, get over it, become a Christian, get on a winning team because God is dealing with us, and he's not dealing with your God. Okay, okay, Don Trail? It's over. Let let it go. All right. This is what he believes. Psalms ten. Back to Psalms ten and three. For the wicked boasts of his heart's desire and blesses the covetous, whom Yahweh abhorreth. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. The thy judgment are far above. Out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. That's right. So, the 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 the, the understanding of these scriptures, you know, are far out of the sights of Vocab Malone. Why is that? Well, one indicator is the fact that he never goes into prophecy. And if you are a Christian, that is your sole purpose of proclaiming the truth. Is getting the people ready, your people ready, right, for the said perils that's to come. Telling them to repent, telling them to turn back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh right? And you diagnose what's going on in the world, right, through the lenses of the scriptures. That's that's prophecy. And if you are doing that, if you've been, uh, you know, um, watching dil diligently as a watchman, you would know that we are living in some very, very, very serious times. And if you had the truth, you should be getting your congregation ready. But there's a very lackadaisical spirit in the, in the Christian church, uh, a very playful and a very uh, uh, insolent mindset. You know, you can point your fingers at us all you, all you want to, but are you, are, you, are you teaching the correct doctrine? Well, according to what I just uh, this played for you all, the Christian church definitely doesn't have it right. All types of abominations are, are, are crawling in that in that in that uh, pit. Okay. 
So the Most High is not dealing with that, with, with that, uh, that, that institution. Okay. All right. So we're gonna see who has the truth real soon, especially when prophecy unfolds before our eyes. We're living in that time where it will, all hell could break loose. What's going on over in France is going to happen here in Babylon, in Babylon the Great, but it's going to be magnified. You, Vocab Malone, you saying we don't have the truth that, you know, Yahweh by Shemash is a figment of our imagination, yet your Christian buddies is, you know, condoning all types of wickedness that's um clearly seen as idol worship. I'm gonna show you guys something. Before I head out, one one scripture comes to mind. Cause you know, vocab alone, man, you know, he that dude is a character. He got he got some type of he got some nerve, bro. You know what I'm saying? He got some nerve, dog. Um I'm going to jump straight to the point. Wisdom of Solomon, 14 and 26. Disquieting of, of good men, forgetfulness of good turning, defiling of souls, changing of kind. Really, those two go hand in hand. The Christian churches really use to defile these children's souls by condoning the whole non-binary movement. It's a damn shame. You call yourself a Christian? In vocab alone, the only thing that you have to uh, 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 say about it is is posting a, a cartoon about the Transformers. You should be ashamed of yourself. You calling yourself an apologist. You need to sweep around your own porch, boy. All the wickedness that's going on in that in, in the Christian church. Oh my goodness! But you guys going on to get along. You guys are okay with having over a thousand denominations. All types of men of wickedness is going on in these churches, fighting and uh, adultery and things of that nature. Yet you want to say that we we don't have the truth? Hey, the scriptures say you would know them by their fruit. Okay, there's no standard in a Christian church. You can come at come as you will, which is really synonymous with do what thou will. Okay, but let's get back to it. Wisdom of Solomon fourteen and twenty six: Dis disquieting of good men, forgiveness of good turns. The following of souls, changing of kind, that word changing of kind. If you have a 1611, you look in the margin, it mean it goes into sex. Disorder in marriages, adultery, and shameful uncleanness. All this is seen in the Christian church. And people forget that we came out of these Christian churches. A lot of people don't go to Christian churches because of of the of the uh confusion and uh this uh, uh, a sexual perversion that is prevalent in these churches, as I said earlier, the Christian church is the oldest known pedophile ring, alluding to the Catholic Church and other uh, 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 churches that get down like that. Let's just keep it a buck. Verse tw tw 27 For the worshiping of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. See, this. Well, will we see the attributes? You know what I'm saying? This is a part of idol worship. So what do we see this in? We don't, we don't see no uh, Hebrew Israelism trans non binary uh, pastor. We don't see that. But we damn sure see a, a, a hell of transgenders coming out in the name of Jesus, allowing these kids to be bred to by a man in a dress. A drag queen in church. We see AI uh, uh, sermons going on in church. Yeah, we don't have the truth that you do, vocab alone. Your organization does. You are a hypocrite, and the Most High is going to judge you. Shalom.